I'm going to show you how to easily create any AI agent in just five steps. And it doesn't matter if you're an expert or a beginner. This will be the tutorial to create any AI agent. It is just that easy. And we're going to do this with the first step, creating your first crew by saying crew AI, create crew Composio underscore crew. I'm going to use OpenAI, use GPT 4.0, and then I'm going to copy my key in here. Okay, great. I went ahead and created our Composio crew. So if I just drop this down really quick, you can see in our config, we have our agents, we have our tasks, and we have our crew file. Okay, we're just about done. Now, before we move on, I want to clean this up because with this, we only need one powerful AI agent. So I'm going to clean this up for one task and one agent. Okay, so I only have one agent in my agency email file, one task in my task email file, and in my crew.py, I only have, let me bring this down, I only have one agent and then one task and everything else is the same. This means we are done building our crew project. The second step is to look at the Composio tools and how to use them with Crew AI. So you're just gonna go to Composio.dev, you'll be greeted with this screen and we're gonna go ahead and sign in in just a second, but Composio, is a quite a few things, but all we care about is the repository of tools that we're going to use with our agent. Now it has about 290 tools right now for us to use, and we don't have to code them ourselves. It is so easy to use. So go ahead and sign in. Once you sign in, it's free. You're going to be greeted with a screen like this. And these are all the apps. So these apps such as file tool, GitHub, Google calendar, Google drive, Twitter, notion, outlook, et cetera. They have all these apps and each of these apps have actions. Well, the actions are really the tools. So if we go to Google drive and then in here are all of the tools that you can use with Google drive. Now it does have a trigger, but we're not worried about that right now. So for instance, here's a create folder, find a folder, create a file from text, et cetera. But the first thing is to set up your integration. So at the right hand side, this big purple button, we're going to click that. And then you're going to choose, you're going to come down here and choose try connecting defaults, Google drive. So you're going to click this, you're going to sign into your email address, hit continue. And then we are done. So once you do that, now you're going to be greeted with this screen. So I'm going to go over this really quickly. So uh, right here on the natural language, this means basically what I would put in the description in order to run this. And then what it would do is it fill in all these parameters here, just like you would create any tool, you give a tool parameters. And if you're not, if you don't know anything about that, that's perfectly fine. It doesn't matter because we're going to handle this with the prompting. We don't, you don't have to actually do much with this. So what I want to do is test this out. So at the top here for Google Drive, the Google Drive find file, let's go ahead and choose the Google Drive create folder. As you can see, this changes. Now there's only two parameters. This is really simple to look at. So the folder name, because it has an ed, red, because it has a red asterisk, means it's required. So I'm going to type in here, create a folder called testing one, two, three. Now, if I click generate, it's going to fill in that folder name with the name testing one, two, three. So over here, there's JavaScript and Python, but in the framework, they have crew AI, Langchain, Leta, and Llama Index. Let's just choose crew AI. And there's a couple things here. We are going to have to install Composio crew AI, which is fine. And then we just need these two lines of code. And that's it. We're not going to actually create these tools ourselves. That's what's great about this. So let's make this so powerful. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy these one by one. I'm going to copy this line. We're going to go back to our crew.py. I'm going to come in here, paste that in. We're going to go back. I'm going to take these two lines of code, come back here, just get extra lines of space, copy that in, and then let's go ahead. And also while we're here, what we need to do is import our, our open AI API key. And we're going to put the Composio API key in there as well. So let's go ahead and copy this. We're going to put this into our dot env file over on the left-hand side. So you're going to call this Composio API key. I'm going to save that here. Go back to crew.py. Let's change this to be os.get environment Composio API key. And now that we have it set up, we need to give this tool to the Composio agent. So you're going to come down here to the agent and you're just going to say tools equals tools, right? This is fine because the crew AI expects an, a list of tools and this is a list. So that works. We are about done. A couple of things we need to clean up in your main Python file. Make sure that line seven is just from crew import Composio crew. We only care about the run function. So I'm going to say if name equals, if name equals main, then run, or you can just call the run function, the inputs, we're going to change one more thing here. So user input, I just want to say, create a folder called test one, two, three, four, five, six in my Google drive. And I'm just going to pass that into the crew. That's the only thing here you need to change. So get rid of everything else. 
Then back in the task YAML file, I'm going to say, understand the user's needs and assist them with their needs. And then I'm going to pass in the user input. So now open up your terminal. The easiest way to open up a new terminal, you can right click the folder at the top left, right click and choose open and integrated terminal. Then I'm going to type Python source slash composio crew slash main dot py. And then this is going to take a minute to run for the first time. But once this starts, it's going to see the tool. We ask it to create a Google Drive folder. It's going to look at that tool, pass in the name of the folder, and then create that in our Google Drive. OK, it ran. Here is the personal assistant. It called the Google Drive create folder. Here's the folder name. It says it was successful. Well, let's go ahead and test that. So if I see it, here it is. Test one, two, three, four, five, six. There's nothing in there right now, but that created our folder. So we took a look at Composio tools. Now I want to use six different tools and then add them to the agent. So for the third step, let's look at adding more tools. So for the other five tools, I want to be able to create a file locally, write to it. I want to be able to find the correct folder in my Google Drive, upload that file to that folder, and then also send a message in Slack. This is going to be so easy. So I'm going to go back to Composio, look up file tool. So for file input output tool, we're going to come down here. I'm going to then select, I want to be able to create a file and then write a file. So if I choose write a file, you can actually choose any of these, but okay. So I chose create a file. So I'm going to copy the file tool, create file, come back to my code, I'm going to comma, put that right there. And then I'm also going to file tool, write Cause I want to be able to write to that file. And then I'm going to come back to my crew AI. Uh, my crew.py file. I'm just adding these to the tool set from Composio. And now in my Google Drive, let's go, let's go back to Google Drive. It is right over here. I need to, again, I need to be able to find the folder. So we already have the creative folder. When you run it another time, you do need to be able to find the folder. So I'm going to just copy this Google Drive, find folder. I'm going to come back here, comma, there we have Google Drive five find folder. And then I need to also upload a file to that folder. Guess what I'm going to do? Copy this action, put that right here. And then I have one more and that is for Slack. So if we go back to all apps, I'm going to search for Slack right up here. Here's Slack. I'm going to set up my Slack integration on the right hand side. You're going to choose the try connecting default Slack. You may need to create a Slack workspace. If you haven't already, you also don't need this step. This is just to show you how easy it is to integrate anything. So I'm going to choose allow because I already have a Slack workspace open. And then I want to send a message to Slack. There's like 173 things that you can do with this, but I only care about sending a message. So I'm going to copy the tool right here, come back here and guess what? I'm going to paste that in right here. Now, all I've done is add literally five things. These are powerful tools that I have not coded myself and I don't need to. So now back in my task email file, you don't need to update any of this. You can make this prompting a lot better, but this is just for an example, and this is going to work regardless. So back in the main Python file, I'm just going to change the user input. I want to create a fast API in complete detail. Make sure to write that file with the necessary instructions, save this to a markdown file called I'm going to actually change this to let's call this my underscore or how about complete instructions dot nd. I'm going to also change this folder to called complete instructions. So if the Google Drive folder doesn't exist, this does not exist, create it first. So it'll do that. It's going to upload that file to the Google Drive folder, which is again the complete instructions. And then I finally want to send a message to the Slack channel which is going to be called news. I have that in my Slack. So we've added the six different tools. We have also added them to a single agent. Like I mentioned, now we just need to test. So let's go ahead. Right, let's make sure you have all this saved. I'm going to type Python. Well, oh, actually you can just press the up arrow and go back to the execution. So Python source compose your main dot PY, PY file. Now it's going to check all of these things with those tools and then execute all of these actions. So here we start the personal assistant. It's going to first uh, create the file. So complete instructions markdown. It's now calling the file. It's now calling the file tool, right? So it's going to write the complete instructions in markdown to that file. Now we're it's trying to find the folder. 
it could not, it didn't return any folder, so it could not find it. So what it should do now, the Google Drive create folder is creating the folder complete instructions. It's now gonna upload that file, the complete instructions markdown to that folder. This is actually the ID. And then it sends a message to the Slack channel. So if we scroll all the way down, it should be done. Now all we have left to do is test this. All right, so if I go back here, if I come out of here, so here's the folder complete instructions with the complete, complete instructions marked down, here it is. And then if I go to my Slack channel news, I have created a new Google Doc with the instructions. You can find in the folder complete con, er, complete instructions. I mean, that was so powerful. I, I didn't have to write the code myself for, for these tools, right? And I'm not saying you never need custom tools because you will need custom tools at some point probably, but this just made it so much easier. Okay, we finished the test, it worked. I just wanna say, great job. All this information will be in my GitHub below. I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. I wanna know what you've created, what you've tried with this. This really makes adding tools which are very powerful to your agents much easier. So thank you for watching again. I will see you next video.